And Anthony Hospital is now suing the facility, claiming an employee sexually abused and assaulted her. Suspects charged with doing the same thing to another female patient who may join that suit. That man remains in custody tonight after initial charges against him last month. WGN's Patrick Elwood is joining us from the newsroom with more now. Patrick. Ray and Micah, good evening to you. Disturbing allegations to say the least. The suspect was working as a tech at St. Anthony Hospital, who it is alleged sexually assaulted two women in January when he was giving them a sponge bath. 30-year-old Kevin Childs is charged with four felony counts of aggravated criminal sexual assault and two felony counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Chicago police arrested him at 102nd and Lafayette after he was identified as the suspect allegedly involved in two different incidents while working as a patient care technician at St. Anthony Hospital. Police say two patients there accuse him of these crimes. In one incident, Childs was sent to bathe a 52-year-old patient. The patient says in the process, he violated and sexually assaulted her. She pressed the call light for help, but only minutes after the assault began allegedly and says the Childs then fled the scene. Police say another 42-year-old patient alleges he did a similar thing to her only days earlier. The 52-year-old woman is suing the hospital. She's identified as Jane Doe in the suit. We spoke to her attorney by way of Zoom this afternoon. Our client was a patient at St. Anthony Hospital. She was debilitated. Uh, she was immobile. She was on oxygen, and she was reliant on the hospital for her every care and her every need. The patient care tech, Kevin Childs, came into the room. He left the lights low. He removed his clothing and he proceeded to viciously rape and assault and sexually abuse our client. The assault didn't stop for several minutes until she was able to press a, a call button and a nurse came into the room. I reached out to St. Anthony for a comment. This is a hospital with a thousand person staff dedicated to the health and wellness of our community. And when made aware of a single case in January, an internal investigation was initiated. We took the accusation very seriously, notified the Chicago Police Department and continue to cooperate with its investigation. Our absolute and unwavering priority is the health and safety of our patients. This individual is no longer employed by the hospital Unquote. That, uh, that's a quote coming from the hospital CEO and president. Childs remains in custody. From the newsroom, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Thank you, Patrick.